Okay, so this is going to be a very unedited or completely unedited mini rant about things I hate about young children because, I don't know, I just generally dislike young children. They're so dumb. Now, the first problem I have with young children, uh, mostly being people younger than me, um, aka people who are below high school age, um, they, 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 they just, just, they're just dumb. Like, there's no other way to put it other than they are just dumb. And I know that has a lot to do with maturity and life experience, but, like, seriously, I get, I get that, you know, you're so cool because you're old relative to what you have been, but seriously, calm your tits. Nobody gives a damn that you're eight, okay? Like, I, I honestly could care less, okay? I mean, congratulations on having a heart that beats, but... You're kind of like the rest of us. We all kind of grow old. Um, it's inevitable, as you may or may not know. Um, so, yeah, there is that. Another thing, it's for some reason. I don't. I don't remember ever being like this, but it's for some reason considered funny to be loud. And I'm gonna take a guess here and say that that probably comes from um, the sensory stimulation or stimulation of your senses I'm not sure what I'm saying right now sleep deprived remember I said that in the intro I think um, but yeah I think that comes from uh, stimulation of their senses but seriously that's that's just the stupidest thing like I could honestly care less and it's really hard to listen to this sort of stuff when you have to share buses with these idiots. And, yeah, I think that a lot of them should just mind their own business when they're in small, confined spaces with other people, but that doesn't happen. Another thing is, they think it's funny to breathe. Now, I know what you're thinking. What? Now hear me out. So, these young lads, right? They're just kind of sitting there, and then they're like, huh, I breathed. And then, before you know it, they're all laughing. And it's, it's honestly the most annoying thing on the planet. Like, I thought cigarette smoke gave me a migraine, but holy shit, that gives me migraines. Wow. Like, can't stand it. No clue why, but I can't. Another thing I have to come up with right now. Um, th they're obsessed with, like, stupid games. Now... And, and stupid, like, YouTubers. I know that I'm not a good YouTuber. Like, in terms of... Content or popularity, I'm, like... Below Z-list. <laughs> but, like... What... Is so funny... Or cool... About watching people scream at games? I mean, I am guilty of doing it myself... But not every two fucking seconds. I do it rarely. And even then, it's not full-on screaming. It is pathetic to watch these people. Like, seriously. If you have never seen, like, one of these people, just look up, um, Let's Play in the YouTube search bar. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, another thing. General stupidity is seen as funny. Not sure how we evolved to think like this, but in my mind, I don't like being stupid. Which is why I try to hide any stupidity that I accidentally show. 
So, I generally avoid topics that I know nothing about. I may, I may give a slight opinion on these sort of things, but I'm not going to claim to be an expert. However, th these kids think it's funny, or they, they're, they go along with thinking they know everything. And that drives me bloody nuts. I have never thought, actually, my ego's thought that, but I have never actually legitimately thought, actually legitimate, I've never legitimately thought that I knew everything. I mean, I'd like to think that I'm smarter than a lot of people, and chances are I am, but nobody is, like, the, the chances of you being smarter than people who have two times as much, uh, who have double the schooling, yeah, um, chances are you're not smarter, however, that does, um, like, not always apply, like, I know some pretty stupid people, and I also know some pretty smart people who are younger than me, so, I don't know, that's kind of open for discussion, I guess these all are, but mostly that one. Uh, what else? Fortnite. They like for actually people like Fortnite, and it drives me nuts. Games like Fortnite in general. Like in my mind, it's not even a good game. It's just annoying. Like I think that's what it's designed to be. I think it's designed to be annoying. Which um, Epic Games, I think, yeah, Epic Games then basically exploits for money, which is actually pretty clever, and I like that they're doing that, but, you know, it's not a good game. I have played it once, actually, the live stream of me playing it once is up, and holy crap, it's bad. PUBG 2. PUBG is okay. It's not, it's not, it's not my go-to game. I will hardly ever play it if I'm not playing it with one of my friends. So, yeah. Other other games, like... I don't know, I can't really think of any other terrible games. Because I don't, I don't play them. Um, definitely, definitely these, like, clicker games, like... Uh, what's a clicker game? Cookie Clicker? Is that still a thing? I don't know, might be. Um, clicker games, just basic stupid games. And th the fact that these kids would spend more money on, what's it called, microtransactions within games or loot crates or whatnot, annoys me. And I don't know, it just drives me nuts. So there's that. Um. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Kids just annoy me. People annoy me. Mostly kids. Like, ugh. Unsubscribe if you're a child. Honestly. Young child. And if you're annoying, also unsubscribe. So, yeah. Um, young children. Uh, mostly people in middle school. Actually, you know what? One more thing. People crying. Crying... Let's see, when was the last time that crying helped someone? Never. Cry, I, crying never helps anyone. I mean, okay, psychologically it does help people, but... Crying over simple things has never helped anyone. Oh no, my pencil broke. Boo-hoo. Go get a pencil sharpener. It's not that hard. It's about five seconds of labor. Or if someone else broke your pencil, make them do it. Fuck's sake. Or get up, get off your fat ass and do it yourself. Honestly, it's stupid to cry over a pencil being broken. I've seen stupider th reasons for people to cry. For example, once upon a time, I told some annoying child who was poking me on the back and screaming in my ear to shut the hell up. He then started crying, to which I responded, N crying has never helped anyone.
except for the psychological stuff. But still, crying realistically has never saved someone from a speeding ticket, kept someone out of jail, she might have, but chances are a jury's not going to stop a, a murderer and say, oh, you, you just did it out of boredom, you know. That, that's okay. We'll, we'll give you a chance. That's not how the world works. And I know maturity is a thing. But these kids are never going to develop it. If they're so stupid. Also, what's the big deal with farting? I don't get what's so funny about that. Swearing, too. I'm not sure what's so funny about swearing. I do understand why we think it's like cool to swear um that's like it's not it's not actually our language center actually this might not be accurate don't take my word for it look it up yourself but as far as i know it's not actually your language center it's of your brain it's something else i forget but it, it makes us feel welcomed or connected to social groups or whatever like you're not gonna walk up to your boss and say hey bitch fuck you like no, I mean unless you're unless you're good friends with them, of course. But you're not just gonna walk up to someone in public and say "fuck you" or something. You're probably gonna get punched in the nose. Same thing if you were to walk over and fart on me, I would probably kick you in the balls. Actually, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably cuss you out and then threaten to kick you in the balls, but do nothing. But you know, common sense is a thing that most people lack. Um, I'm not one of those people. I actually have common sense, or not so common sense, because it's not really that common when you think about it. And that pisses me off. A lot of things piss me off. I should make a list. No, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll make another video about, like, why people crying annoys me at some point. I don't know. I'll probably actually, like, sound like I'm alive, though. Because, like, you know, sleep is probably good for you. I don't know. And it's not just going to be acting like I have sleep. It's going to be actually having sleep, so it'll be pretty cool. How oh, you guys will be so proud that I got sleep. Of course, I won't give two fucks, but still, um, sleep probably good for you. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.